into a gym anywhere in America, you'll see rows of women sweating it out on treadmills. Stop it again months later, and many of those same women won't look that much slimmer, despite the countless hours they've spent pounding away on that moving belt. This is a quote from Liz Plasser. She's a senior editor of the health and fitness section of Cosmo magazine. I'm sure you, not meant to offend anybody, or you know somebody who exercises frequently, however all they do is run, whether it's outside or on the treadmill. However, you don't really lose that much weight and you don't really get toned up. So why do people run countlessly when they really don't see any difference? Unfortunately, it's because they don't know the facts about what running does to your body. Rachel Cosgrove, who's a personal trainer and author who's pretty well known, says how the body is meant to adapt. At first you do lose some weight, however, when your body gets used to the same <laughs> exercise that you do every single day, that weight plateaus and then you really don't lose any more weight and you don't turn, tone up your body. It becomes easier and easier and then you use less energy. She also mentions how running does take a physical toll on the body. It does become boring over, over a period of time when you're just constantly doing the same thing, running and running for at least 30 minutes to an hour or more. Also, running constantly does cause some injuries. For example, runner's knee, which I'm sure a lot of people are familiar with. The Academy of Orthosurgeons Treatment says that runner's knee incorporates a lot of energy injuries where pain occurs around the knee. If it's just a minor injury, you have to ice, rest, and elevate it. However, if it gets worse, then you're going to have to wear a knee brace when running or performing any other physical activities like basketball, soccer, etc. However, when it gets worse, you're required to have surgery. This surgery would either be removing fragments of cartilage from your knee or realigning your kneecap. Sometimes after that, people are no longer to run again or perform activities. Like my father, he had knee injuries because he ran a lot playing basketball, and now he can't have basketball, have, he can't play basketball, and he can no longer ski because his knee is that damaged. Now, who wants to run constantly if they're prone to injury and they really don't see a lot of results? Rachel Cosgrove also says, if you've been running a lot, completely stop running and start lifting weights. Stop doing your typical routine. Start doing something that your body isn't used to. When you challenge your body, that's when you use more energy and you lose a lot more calories and lose weight. Adam Bornstein, a fitness author, explains how important it is to add resistance to your your workout. Weight training and body weight exercises are common things that a lot of people do. Weight exercises cause many micro tears in the muscles where energy is required in order to, that, to have that be repaired. Therefore, calories are burned for almost two days after you've actually performed that exercise. He also says that adding a lot of variety really doesn't take much and it makes the exercise a little more exciting and you will also see a dramatic impact on fat loss and muscle toning. Dr. Jason Karp explains how interval training will burn more calories in a shorter amount of time compared to running at a steady pace because it is challenging your body. Does anyone know what interval training is? You know what interval training is. Interval training is when you, well, say you sprint for one minute, and then you walk for a minute to cool down, and then you sprint for a minute, and then you walk for a minute to cool down. People usually do that about three to six times, depending on how much endurance you have. But you don't have to do it like sprinting. You can bike or you can row, etc. 
Now, I know the facts, so of course I would choose weight training and interval exercises instead of running myself ragged every single day. People give it their all, dedicating so much of their time to running themselves ragged. However, they go into this without knowing the proper information because they see all of America running, so they're like, I'm going to hop on the bandwagon and hopefully I will be fit and slim. People constantly run their lives away. I see people struggling all of the time. Why do they go through this if they really don't see any results? Unfortunately, it's because they don't know any better. They continue grimacing, panting, and red-faced, hoping that one day soon they will see that number on the scale get a little lower. Don't be that person. Don't be the person, also, who's waiting for that number to decrease. Make it decrease. <coughs> So stop running, start sprinting for a minute and then walking for a minute. Start doing push-ups, start doing squats, start lifting weights. If you're unsure how to do these things, learn. Learn from Liz Plosser, who I mentioned. Learn from Rachel Cosgrove that I mentioned. Learn from Jason Cart that I mentioned. Learn from Adam Bornstein that I mentioned. Just learn. Don't be that person who's constantly running month after month but has not gotten any fitter. Are you going to wait until you get injured to stop running? Be smart. And most of all, be healthy and be happy.